Welcome to your day one Soul Sanctuary Immersion Asana practice. So today we've been speaking a lot about overwhelm and life's navigation. And the message and the feeling that I really would like for us to take away from this practice on the mat is that actually we are in control and intuitively, deep down, when we connect, when we really take that time to, to connect with the gut, with all of this and this, that we know what needs to happen. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. We're going to start in a child's pose. Take the knees wide and you're going to take the arms out long and close the eyes. So child's pose this is such a beautiful way of connecting to our earth and taking a moment to get in touch with that inner child. These moments and these postures where we tend to feel a little bit more childlike are the ones where we can look inside and see that younger, that younger version of us, the inner child, and we start to connect. What brings us joy? What makes us feel alive? Because at that point in our lives, when we didn't have the worries and the stresses that we had now, and the most important thing was where we were going to be riding our bike next or seeing our friends. Yeah, really try to tune into those feelings of just focusing on the one little thing that brings you some joy. Seeing if we can let go of everything it came before this practice. I let go of anything that's about to come and really feel into this present moment. Ask yourself, how do I feel? Walk the hands over to the right side, opening through the left side body. Deepening the breath as you feel the body cracking open. Walking the hands back through center, taking them over to the left, opening through the right side body, creating space with the breath. Coming back through center, snaking your way forwards, coming to find a place down on the belly. Place the hands so the fingertips are in the top edges of the mat, the corners. Let the head hang heavy. Let's undulate here through some cobras. Inhale as we lift. Exhale as we release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Place the hands down, push back, come to find Anahatasana, our extended puppy pose, reach the arms out long, shoulders, armpits, reach down towards the mat. Inhale here, finding that straight spine through the, through, straight, finding that straight line, sorry, through the spine. Exhale as you release down. Inhale, draw the core in. Using those core muscles to lift. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. 
Thread the left arm underneath the right. Take the side of the head down. Reach that right arm up to the sky. Option of taking the hands to heart center. Pressure through the hands here, lifting all the way up. Option to tuck under the right toes. Wiggle that leg away. Find the balance. If you can lift that right leg off the mat. If you roll onto your back or your tummy, it's okay. Try to find the playfulness here. Just moving into a place of lightheartedness. When everything is so heavy around us, it's important that we find our playfulness. Take the right arm up again, wrap the right arm around, tuck it to the inside of the left thigh if you can. Come to kneel all the way up. If that hand can't stay there, that's okay. It can just be wrapping around. Right, uh, sorry, left hand to the outside of the right leg. Take a twist a little deeper. Inhale, find length. Exhale. Inhale, length. Exhale, depth. Slowly releasing, finding a little dancing camel, placing the left hand down, knees come wide. Inhale, sweep the arm up, push the hips forwards. Exhale, release. Other side, inhale, take it up. Exhale, release. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, release. Last time to this side, inhale up. Exhale, release, bring the knees back together ever so slightly. Reach those arms out long, come back to your extended puppy. Inhale, draw the core in, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, release down. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, release down. Inhale one more time, draw the core in. Exhale, release. Right hand threads underneath the left side of the head comes down. Sweep the left arm all the way up. Bring the palms together. Add a little bit of pressure through the hands here, opening through the chest. Option to tuck under the left toes and wiggle that leg away. Seeing if you can lift the left leg up into the sky, holding here. If you wobble, if you fall, it is okay. <laughs> Slowly bringing that left knee down. Take the left arm all the way up again. See if you can wrap that left arm around behind you and tuck the hand to the inside of the right thigh. Slowly start to shift yourself all the way up. Inhale, find length. Exhale, right hand to the outside of the left leg. Take the twist. Inhale, length. Exhale, move a little deeper. Inhale, find the length. Exhale, taking it a little bit deeper. Slowly release. Let's work with that dancing camel again. Place the right hand down, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, come through center. Inhale up to the other side. Exhale down through center. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale up. Exhale, release. Beautiful, okay. Place the hands over near the top of the mat. Tuck under the toes. Take the bottom high up to your downward facing dog. Now take some time here. What is it that your body needs? Maybe it's pedaling through the feet, a shake, a nod of the head. Maybe some movement through the hips. Maybe for you it's just stillness. <sighs> Releasing that breath. On an inhale, wave the body forwards to high plank. Exhale here. Inhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow. And then exhale, place the right foot down at the outside of the right hand. Drop the back knee down, come to find a lizard opening through the hips. Again, finding a bit of movement, maybe swaying side to side. And 
then pushing back up onto the hands tuck under the back toes lift the back knee open the right arm all the way up to the sky option maybe coming onto the ball of the right foot and opening that right arm out for cactus just adding a little bit more expression and opening through the pose and then staying with the breath Drop that heel down with the right foot. Open out, so pivot onto the knife edges of the feet. Drop down for revolved skandhasana. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Slowly pivot all the way back around and now pivot those feet around. Find Skandasana on the right side. So your right foot is down or grab yourself a block and place the block underneath the heel. The left leg is out long. Right hand comes down by the side. Sweep the left arm up, open through the chest. And then either bringing the hands to heart center and using the legs to power through this, or you can take the fingertips down. You're gonna to come to Skandasana on the left side. Nice, beautiful. Opening out through the arms. And then we're gonna reverse that little sequence on this side. So taking the right hand down, pivoting all the way over into your revolved skandhasana. So this time the left arm goes out long, left leg's coming over the top. Inhale, length. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale up and then place the left hand down just so you can pivot those feet properly. Come up onto the ball of the left foot and then open that left arm out for your easy twist with expression. If not, just going for your traditional easy twist. Breathing here. Lifting the heart. Shining yourself. Then drop the left hand down, drop the back knee down, find a lizard on the left side. Maybe taking a little sway side to side. One more breath here. And then pressing through the hands, tuck under the back toes, lift the back knee, and then bring the left knee to the left elbow and step it back to a downward facing dog. <sighs> Using those big, beautiful releasing breaths, just as a reminder to let go that you can reset at any time. Those feelings of anxiousness, overwhelm that we all so frequently get. Using the breath to just take a moment to say, I've got this. I have got this. When you're ready, stepping the right foot towards the hands and then pivot the feet to come to Prasarita Padatanasana. So up on the fingertips, lift the chest, create some space. Exhale, take a forward fold. Let the head hang heavy here. Mm. Closing the eyes through your forward fold. Just checking in with yourself. And then on an inhale, come up to the fingertips. And then forward fold again and just gently sway side to side. 
And you can maybe shift through the hips as well. Maybe bending through the knees. Again, just moving with a little bit of your own intuition. Knowing that you are able to do this, even if you're a beginner and you haven't practiced before. It's not about knowing the yoga posture. It's about knowing your body. And then walking those hands over to the right side. Give the right leg a hug. Opening through the left side body here. Big, beautiful breaths. And then walking the hands over to the left. Give the leg a big hug. Opening through the right side body. And coming back to center on an inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing. Now, take the feet, the toes pointing to the front corners of the mat. And then drop down, find your goddess. Because you are a goddess. If there's any gentlemen doing this flow, you too are a goddess. Take a moment, just shift side to side. Take that big releasing breath again. Inhale, maybe even find a smile. <sighs> Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, open the chest up, cactus arms. Exhale, round. So powering through those legs. I know that you can feel it. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round, drop the head. Last time, strong through those legs. Inhale, up. Exhale through heart center. Inhale, open for cactus. Exhale, round. And then pushing all the way up. Wiggle those hips side to side. Windmill the arms over to the front of the mat. Frame the foot. Step it all the way back to high plank. Either drop the knees down or work through a chaturanga, lowering down to the mat. Inhale, take cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just zinging that bottom all the way up to the sky. Feeling alive with energy right now. Drop the knees down, take the bottom back onto the heels and then swing the legs around. So from here, you're going to come into Navasana. Shift yourself towards the front of the mat slightly. You're going to come to Navasana. We're holding in our Navasana for a moment. Really nice and long through the spine. Feel that lift through the crown of the head. So there's this dual action happening here. The sacral coccyx is really coming down into the mat as you feel the energy drawing its way through the spine, lifting through the crown of the head. Holding here. Then you're gonna take hold, two piece fingers around the big toes or maybe around the outside edges of the feet. Come to straighten the legs if you can. If you can't straighten them, it doesn't matter. You can still do this. I'm gonna shift myself forward just a little bit. And then from here, you're gonna rock back Tap those toes down, and then from here, see if you can find the momentum to bring yourself back to that balance point. Nice, give it a go three times. Maybe you can do it with wide legs as well if that feels good. So three more times, rocking back, and just seeing if you can find that balance point. It doesn't matter if you can't, just give it a go. If you're rocking and rolling around the room, <laughs> Again, just having some fun with it, finding the light, finding the playfulness within your practice. Last time. And hug everything together. Take the knees, the feet down to the mat. Wrap your arms around your legs. Drop your forehead down and give yourself a big hug.
Taking a moment here to check in. Inhale, lift the chest. You're gonna shift the bottom back, gonna come for a Prasarita Padatanasana, just a beautiful, nice, simple forward fold, flexing the feet. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, take a forward fold. If you need to pop yourself up in a block or you use a strap, then by all means, grab what you need. Lengthening through the spine, crown of the head, reaching forwards, not downwards. Two more breaths here. You can have the eyes closed. Inhale, coming all the way up. Bring the feet in. Shift the bottom forward slightly. Reach those arms out long in front of you and slowly, so slowly, make your way down towards the mat. Using the core to get you there. Strengthening just a little by little. Try to smile the whole time. <laughs> I know, I'm a bit mean when I do this. Try to match my pace. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slowly lower a bit more. Lift another inch. Exhale, release it all the way down. Just shift those knees side to side. So from here, keeping the feet where they are, grab your block or a cushion, and you're gonna come into a supportive, uh, supported bridge. So wherever you want your block to be. If you've only got a cushion, that's fine. It will just be a little mild bridge. So place your block where you'd like it to be. Release the hands, palms facing upwards, close the eyes. Feel the hips and the heart lifting up towards the sky. These hands ready to surrender, ready to receive. What is it that you are receiving right now? One more breath here as you slowly make your way down towards your mat, removing the block. Shift the knees side to side. And then hug those knees into the chest. Arms go out into cactus or T-shape. Draw the right knee into the chest. Take the left hand on top of the right knee and draw it across the body for a beautiful spinal twist. Head goes over to the right. Close your eyes.
and allowing the breath to create space through that twist. Coming back through center, hug that right knee in. And then open it up for a half happy baby, just drawing the right knee down towards the outside of the body, holding onto the outside edge of that right foot. Eyes are still closed. Okay, hugging the right knee in one last time and then switch it over, hug the left knee in. Left arm goes out into cactus or T-shape, right hand on top of the left leg as you draw it over, finding your twist, eyes are closed, head goes over to the left. One more nice, big, beautiful breath here. And then coming back through center, hug the knee in, and then take the left hand to the outside of the left foot and draw that left knee down by the side of the body for your half happy baby. bringing that left knee in, hug it in, bring the knees to the chest and then dropping them all the way down for your Shavasana. So taking some time in your Shavasana to scan through the body. What's happening all the way down in the tips of the toes, the tips of the fingers, and working your way up through the crown of the head. What's alive for you?
as we all lay here together, our energy somewhere, somehow connecting. Let's come to find something so simple with the breath. Life is always going to throw its challenges at us. It's always going to be confusing, hard, worrying. But within all of that, there are moments like this. Moments for yourself, moments to be present, moments of joy. So as we inhale, let's inhale that joy and exhale the overwhelm. Inhale calmness. And exhale the overwhelm. Inhale peace. Exhale overwhelm. Inhale strength. Exhale overwhelm. Slowly bringing some feeling back into the fingers and the toes. Maybe circling the ankles and the wrists. And rolling over onto one side and pausing there again. This posture reminding us of our childlike nature. The security and vulnerability of this pose. And making your way up to seated. Close the eyes, place one hand on top of the other, at the heart center. And we'll seal our practice together with one big releasing breath. Inhale. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you all for being here in this immersion for giving up your time for yourself, for showing up for yourself, for showing up for everybody else in this group. Now, obviously this particular, this flow isn't live. So what I would love for you to do is maybe just pop up a post like we've been doing, maybe a picture if you've got one of you right now, or if you want to just let the laptop and the phone and the screens go, then do that. You've got to take what you need from this immersion. If you want to come and get involved in the community chat right now, then pop up a post, interact with each other, talk to each other, share videos, do what you've got to do. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you in the morning for another practice. Bye-bye.